mostly big move in the fight over a controversial pipeline as President Donald Trump approves a federal permit for the Keystone XL today. Now only Nebraska remains as the one state where the project is still not approved. Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts calls the permit an important step forward, but the battle is far from over. Pipeline opponents vow to keep fighting and say despite the odds, they will win again. 3 News Now reporter Nick Starling is live in studio with the latest. Nick. Emily Jen, while President Trump gives the Keystone XL pipeline the green light, the fight is far from over. The state's Public Service Commission has to approve the route before TransCanada digs the first trench for the pipeline. Today I'm pleased to announce the official approval of the presidential permit for the Keystone XL pipeline. President Trump gives his stamp of approval for the controversial Keystone XL pipeline calling it a great pipeline that will add jobs and ensure energy independence. It's going to be an incredible pipeline, greatest technology, known to man. But it's not a done deal yet. There's massive hurdles to approving the pipeline in Nebraska. We can stop this pipeline. We must stop this pipeline and we will stop this pipeline. It's eminent domain for private gain. Our cameras were the only ones there as dozens of anti-pipeline Nebraskans filed to be interveners in the pipeline permit process with the Nebraska Public Service Commission right before Wednesday's deadline. 52 applications were submitted. TransCanada cannot be trusted for their safety and that is another lie. The safest pipeline ever built does not exist. Today, the Ponca tribe of Nebraska says both proposed routes go through their cherished lands. Boundaries are our, our burial sites, sacred sites, and the fact uh, of, of what it has, the potential environmental impact that it has on the state of Nebraska and uh, our, our groundwater. But for now, TransCanada CEO Russell Gerling says their main goal, getting the permit approval in Nebraska. We have a public utilities commission process to, uh, uh, to get our route approved in Nebraska. So those will be where our focus areas are, is getting those permits in place. In about an hour, pipeline opponents will gather to write letters to the Public Service Commission at Caffeine Dreams at 45th and Farnham. Reporting live in studio, Nick Starling, 3 News Now.